Our next stop, the oil fields of North Dakota. It's a beautiful and remote place to work on Earth, but no longer do oil workers need to make that long, lonely trek just to get here, because the oil fields, like you see behind me, are becoming digital and can be managed from virtually anywhere on Earth. Let's take a look. Today there's been a technology revolution affecting nearly every facet of our lives. But until now, one industry has been left behind, the remote oil fields of America. We think that this nation has the energy resources to, to really be more secure uh, defense-wise and, and national security-wise by producing our own uh, native energy sources. We've got the oil and gas and the coal, and the geology, uh, and the wind, and the solar uh, to tie this all together. But you cannot make those things work in synergy uh, without the technology. It is not possible. Today, those innovations and new technologies are showing up in the oil fields, like here in the Bakken Basin of Northwest North Dakota, in what is being described as the new automated or digital oil field. And its environmental benefits are transforming the industry. Every well that gets drilled and built, it takes people to, to manage that and getting resources to come to North Dakota is kind of a tough thing. With automation, uh, we're able to do more with less and the day-to-day -day hands-on people on these well pads can be a lot more efficient with their day-to-day -day tasks by using the automation that's provided. Oil and gas companies that are building new wells and maintaining existing wells had always wanted to automate, but were not sure how to get there. What was needed was one entity that could specialize in serving the oil fields and harnessing this native energy from electrification and automation to communication and storm restoration. Native Energy Solutions provided just that. It's exciting for us because it's what we do. It's, it's who we are. We like to take new technologies and existing technologies and help the oil and gas companies solve problems. Problems for safety, problems for environmental safety. That's what they need us for and that's what we do. Through automation, uh, we've been able to deliver to our customers that ability so that they can visit these locations from remote location and see operating pressures, see operating temperatures, have the ability for a site to shut itself down when it gets to these high level conditions. The end result is a reliable and safe automated environment, even in the most remote locations at oil fields in North Dakota, Montana, New Mexico, Texas, Wyoming, and Oklahoma. It means even the most common threats to well performance can be addressed instantaneously from a control center computer or even a desktop or smartphone. The efficiencies that are gained through automation technology are huge. Now, with the ability to remotely monitor a location, one guy can sit at a desk and watch 50 wells at one time in real time. You still need an eyeball. The efficiencies go up with automation and we're able to do more with less. We've seen automation in, in really all phases of our operations, uh, from drilling uh, to completions to production. And, you know, in some ways, I think we're scratching the surface of what it can do. And we've been testing different leak detection uh, automation technologies. And we're able now to see a leak remotely from Houston. And as soon as we see it and the alarms go off, we, we have the confidence that we can shut the line in and then dispatch somebody to go troubleshoot and figure out what's going on. Uh, but if you didn't have that automation, you know, you just wouldn't have that level of confidence in being able to spot and detect those leaks. I think. What excites me the most about it is the fact that we can take technology and improve how they produce oil, how they do it safely, and how they can use technology 
to be environmentally conscious. They can see and control their processes. For us to be able to participate in that is exciting. We went virtually overnight from 3,000 wells to 10,000 wells, and we've got 14,000 wells producing now. Uh, we anticipate by the time drilling's completed here, uh, we're gonna be at 60,000 wells. And without that technology to, to track everything in the field and, and from the database, uh, it's just, it would be impossible. You know, we all want to be able to harness the energy that is native to our planet and to do it safely and sustainably. The digital oil field may very well be the best way to do it in some of the most hard to reach locations on this earth.